guess two weeks ago we were sitting here trying to pick up the pieces. Now you're yeah. right back in the middle of the race. Yep. Should uh, are we jumping to too many conclusions here in the media? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, we just got to go out there and play play every game. And it's a huge game, and uh, I love this matchup. I think when I mean, we turn on the film I and mean, you see how hard they play, very similar to us. I mean, we got to bring that energy and passion uh, one step above them. And, uh, but I, I think they're a very good, very great team. Um, very great skill players. Good front seven on both ends and stuff. And. Uh, they're definitely a talented team. I'm expected to be a close after after the last two years. Well, why is the game between ASU and Utah been so close the past two years? Yeah, I mean my uh, my freshman year we uh, we uh, really took control. I and mean, the last two years, yeah, I mean uh, they just they keep finding themselves, and I think we are too. So I mean that's what that we're doing this week. We just got to keep putting the uh, pieces together. And uh, I mean uh, I think we're getting better every week. I mean two weeks ago we were rough, and uh, we're starting to build every week. And uh, I think we're still uh, continuing to do that. So this Saturday we got to definitely put a put together a full game. I mean all around the board. What is it about those prime time late night kickoffs in the yeah. 12 with it all on the line? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, no one we're competing for uh, the South right now. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a long season. You never know what can happen. But, I mean, this game is a very important game for our, for our team and this community and stuff. Uh, we just got to continue to work hard and practice and bring it. I mean, uh, it's a tough place to play. That's one of the things I'm communicating to a lot of young guys that haven't been up there. I mean, it's definitely a hostile environment. So, we got to go up there and just stay focused for four quarters and go play. Todd's really, Todd's really fired up after practice. Yeah. What does he keep re-emphasizing to you guys this week? Passion and energy. I mean, uh, when you, like I said, when you turn on the film, you see that's how they play, and we got to play better than that. We got to play with a higher level of passion and energy, and uh, that's what he wants us to come out here and do. I mean, on practice. I mean, throughout the whole period of practice. I mean, everything. I mean, we just can't let up. We got to continue to strive and just keep pushing ourselves. And a lot of the leaders and a lot of the guys out there playing got to continue to just keep pushing each other uh, throughout the whole practice. You, you had a lot of new moving parts on offense this year. Do you feel like you guys are settling in now to roles and yeah. executing? I, I think so. I mean, I think guys like such like Tim White, I mean, he's getting a lot more comfortable. Even Devin and just our rotation, how we're communicating. I mean. You guys don't see a lot of it. I mean, just within the sidelines, how we communicate, I mean, it's getting a lot better. So I think everyone's starting to get a little more comfortable and it's starting to show a little bit. When season started, you knew, you knew we were going to split reps between the backfield and wide mm -hmm. receiver. Um, has it been challenging now that you're, you know, halfway through the season, just going back and forth? No, I mean, I, shoot, I've been doing that since my freshman year, kind of. So, I mean, I just, I take it day by day. I mean, uh, I love being a part of this team, love being a part of this offense. Uh, our coaches do a great job of putting, uh, putting the players in a position to make plays. And I'm just communicating wherever that can go, wherever I can, they can put me. I mean, I'm open arms, ready to go out and play. Do you, do you think your role will be kind of dependent on Demario's status or how much he's able to do? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, I, I think that. Demario, Kalen, Gump, and we got we got a lot of good backs back there, and that can come out. Even Jason Lewis is, is back there, who's practicing really hard today. So I mean, at the end of the day, we have a lot of great backs, and if they need to move me back there a little more, then they will. But uh, I think we're it's very similar. What we've been doing, just got to continue to uh, get our game plan ready. Did you see Devin's one-handed grab? Yeah, I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe they didn't give that to him. I thought it was a catch. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, the highlight. The highlight uh, replay shows different, but uh, I thought it was a catch. It looked like a catch to me. It was impressive. He, and he, he makes a bunch of those in practice and stuff, so uh, we're uh, we're kind of we're getting used to it. Is he the Odell back on the team? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's impressive though. I mean, uh, he definitely. I mean, he, he gets you could say that because he gets yelled at a lot. I hear always two hands, Devin, two hands on the ball. So I mean, I guess he likes to come out here and show off a little bit sometimes. But uh, he's a definitely he's a great player, and uh, he's definitely a very explosive uh, uh, playmaker for us on offense. I know he's on the other side, but Salama was named the team captain. Mm -hmm. is, he, is he, I mean, he likes to lead by example. Does he say yeah. much in the locker room, or is he just kind of that guy? He does his own thing. Uh, I mean, Salama was a very interesting person. I mean, I've never seen someone come and make the steps and the strides he, he has this year. It's unbelievable. I mean, leading the nation in tackles, solo tackles, and just the intensity he plays with on game day. It's unbelievable. Even in practice, I mean, and that's where his biggest improvement has been is just in practice. I mean, he's bringing it every day, and he's leading those guys over there and just make, being a great example. Definitely. What about Long Gino? Yeah. The, the, the character that he brings here. Yeah, he's an intense human being, and uh, I think that shows on game day as well. But I mean, throughout the practice, I mean, I think he's a little more vocal than Salamo, and uh, I think they do a great job together. I mean, do, bringing different aspects to it and doing a great job leading that defense over there. Thanks, Thanks.